Metron do eat the people they kill. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know which is worse in that situation, as the Mitrin are eating them. Hey, you know, they can do what they want. As, you know, they're currently, you know, a little bit of a border protector. We'll okay. tolerate their existence for now. They're Fair. at least kind of human. They're, they're humanoid. Somewhat, yeah. I mean, not as g grand as the great dwarven race. <laughs> true, true. But, you know. We are they're, getting... They're, they're tolerable to look at. We are also getting slave outbreaks or uh, uh, rebellions slave almost rebellions. everywhere. <laughs> so, oh. you know, we're, uh, we really aren't in a good shape to uh, attack anybody at the moment. <laughs> Uh, we gotta do a little bit of crisis control right now. Pretty much, yeah. The, the great slaver revolt at the end of the great emperor's life. Uh-huh, he's, he's been dealing with it for quite a while. Uh, let's see, we have learned nothing about the cartel besides that they are belligerent. And they have uh, a bit more diplomatic weight than we do, so that means that their economics is probably stronger than ours, which is to be expected. Uh, we do have cl who the Urzo are putting claims on our empire, even though they don't border us. Oh, please come and fight me. Oh, they're on our border now. Uh, no, those they don't link up, and they're about to be eliminated. <laughs> they, uh, uh, yep, they're gone. Oh yeah, it's because of the uh the dr the uh, stream buff, you know. Yep, yep, no, you're good. It takes a second. We've, yeah, we've learned a new tech. Yay. Uh, more minerals actually would be great, because I can sell minerals. So we, we can't, we're going to get to reform our government here soon. Um, and I'm going to be honest, sadly, Slaver Guilds is not on the list, it looks like. Why is it not? Uh, Slaver Guilds. Because we're not authoritarian. <laughs> well, that's wow. unfortunate. We could... No, no, we can't, because that's, uh, that's one of our uh, ethics. So, we'll have, soon we're going to get to decide what we want to use for this uh, when we get our next point. So, something to kind of think about as we're going through things. Uh, what you want to grab. Um, and phew, we could get a lot of stuff here. There's undead armies. You know, we could focus on science. Uh, we could become feudal. Uh, we could go with efficient bureaucracy to make our administration upkeep even cheaper. Uh, there's also the Byzantine bureaucracy, which gives us more stability and more unity. Stuff like that to think about. Oh, we're out of you again. Okay, there we go. Actually, let's upgrade our fleets before we become an inefficient empire for what we're doing. Uh, we are actually going to start selling some minerals here to try and offset more of the issues here. So let's see, that gives us 108. So can we maybe get that up and not hopefully cost us an arm and a leg? Oh, a new nation. Oh, the Kingdom of Belm came to some land. That's nice. Uh, we are still hurting. Okay, let's do a little bit more of that, and then let's sell some alloys. We'll do 10. And we should basically min-max our money here in a minute. Oh, come on. Fix out the economy. We just need to fix the economy a little bit more. Once the economy stabilizes, I can build the realm completely. <laughs> well, hold, we did get hold. rebellions. <laughs> Just give it a second, it'll stabilize. Yep, yep, that's basically the idea. We are... Wait, where? Oh, to Bon. Uh, well... Oh, lord, well, we're landing armies here anyways to add to it. Oh, please. Oh, lord, they are hurt. They are fighting hard, but let's see if we can fight these damn slaves. We're winning! We are winning against them. We got some extra troops in there, thankfully. Oh, Lord. I guess uh, the dwarves being strong kind of helps that. Yep, yep. These freedom fighters aren't very strong. To give you an idea, our normal guys do between 4.45 and 8.9. Theirs do 1.89 to 3.79. So they're not doing very good against us. Gotcha. Being the superior strong race we are, 
Uh, okay, so we do have to drop this down. Uh, which means just canceling you and probably canceling you because we're gonna need to stabilize the economy first Very strong the slaves have been crushed, so they will no longer be an issue uh, Please money come back to me. I need money uh, game We, have mastered we are losing we are out of both those techs, which is gonna be a problem Oh piss off with that are we? Why is our thing still negative? We shouldn't be. I mean, that didn't. Why are we at a hot negative 100 now? What the fuck? Did someone just supercharge this? No. Weird. Our con. What just happened here? Okay. Did uh? Did a slave revolt like destroy a building or something? That's. Oh, they killed the mayor that was over here. Eh, okay. Wait, do we get- we got two new planets somehow. Okay, that's weird. Um, alright. Um, you know what, let's take you, that's fine. Why- what happened to all of our industry now? Also, when did- wait, what the fuck? Why are all these suddenly set to something? I didn't set these to that. Okay, so that is correct, I do want that. You are set to that, that's fine. This planet's definitely gonna have to be built up a bit. We're fine here. We do definitely need to get more people. We just need more peep pops. Uh, what's the issue here? We have I one. do find it very funny that at the point we had too much pops, but now we don't have enough. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Uh, all right, you can resettle to Burga de Bao. Uh, the second planet there. Enjoy. Well, it's also the fact that a lot of our population does not like the planets we're on. So, uh, we can now reform the government, though. Um, so what would you like? We've got Aristotic Elite, which gives us noblemen. We've got Byzant Byzantian Bureaucracy, which gives us more stability and unity. Uh, Catalytic Processors, which turns metallurgists into, uh, basically turns food into alloys, which I will mention we are minus 78 food right now. <laughs> um... We can get the Corvée system, which waives all unity costs for POPs resettlement, and POP growth from immigration is 15%, which, you know, immigration's not going to happen when we're a xenophobic empire. Uh, let me really quick.